Alright, so... Turn left. <laughs> Why is it having me go left? Oh, I don't know, just go right. It's telling you to get on 35. No. Um, so, we went to Ben's shop, finally woke him up, got Wes's attention, we got the Jeep... Jesus. Audio is set to alert, so... Shut up! Oh, she's the worst. <laughs> Anyways, got to the shop, woke Wes up, got the Jeep loaded, after dropping the trailer, <laughs> we thought it was loaded on the hitch, and I guess it wasn't locked or something, and the whole trailer... <laughs> <laughs> fell on its face. Oh man, so that was sketchy, but we got it lifted back up. Jeep's loaded, we're good. Ben says he doesn't want to go. I'm assuming he's like annoyed because he's not prepared. Um, so we're currently driving to his house to come pick him up. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Do you think he's gonna have his shit ready and he's gonna hop in, or do you think he's gonna, like, not go? I think he will be ready because I hung up on him when I told him we we're on his on our way. Yeah, I think, uh, I think he's just ill prepared. And once we get on the trails or get to cross, we'll be like, all right, I'm happy that I came. Yeah. So we did make it to Crossbar. We're at the cabin. Um, currently, we're just gonna air down and unload everything it settled in and then we're gonna head up to the ranch house and talk to Trot and Ramsey. So the owners of Crossbar Off Road Park is Justin Ramsey and Brian Trotter. Um, both really great guys. Brian Trotter, you're gonna see an interview with him before long. Um, he's a Navy guy. So um, be on the lookout for that one. He's a really cool guy. He's one of the, uh, what you would recognize as a certified badass, honestly. So, um, definitely gonna be a fun interview. But yeah, we're gonna get loaded up and then we're gonna head over to the ranch house. Crossbar is 6,500 acres of sheer off-roading bliss in the heart of the Arbuckle Mountains. The, the ranch itself is some of the most beautiful terrain that you're going to come across in Oklahoma, in my opinion. It is Friday morning here out of the cabin and today's gonna be fun we're gonna hit some more trails and today my whole uh, mission is just getting good media so we have a couple promo videos that we're trying to shoot and get done um, so today I'm gonna be collecting footage for that most of yesterday I wanted to do that but the weather didn't cooperate it's super windy and just not ideal so I couldn't really get like good content um but today is nice and overcast and no wind at all so we're gonna hit some scenic spots this morning hopefully before people start rolling into the park and uh i'm gonna get all the footage for that and uh, i'm just gonna be documenting how the day goes you know what it's what it's like a day out at crossbar off-road park so um i think it's about like eight or something in the morning right now what time is it 8.13, so um, Chance is making breakfast right now. So let's go check in on him. It's so nice out today. What's up guys? So this morning we fixed breakfast. It's, I don't know, probably 9, 10 o'clock-ish. Um, we were fixing to go hit Joe. Joe just came in about an hour ago. They're unloading and Jacob actually has razors, um, power steering is acting funny, so we're gonna go align it and figure that out real fast and we're gonna go hit some trails. <clears throat> Bro time assistance? Yeah.
Are you enjoying the TJ? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I'm trying to hold three walkie talkies in a water bottle at the same time. How's that working out? Hey, <laughs> that happened. This was a snap ring to take off last time. <laughs> so, what we're doing, um, you usually want to do this with like kite string. Yeah. But we're going to wrap this string all the way around at like hub height, right? And tie it tight. And then you will see the tires, you wheel straight. You'll see the tires like come in or out from the string, like push on it or um, come in on the front or back of the tire. And that'll tell you which way the tire needs to run. Okay. So we're going to tie this one. Uh, you want to hold this? How was the trail? What was that trail? like the. But I think, I think that's good. Yeah, about right there. Okay. All right, so, set that point where you get this. So, notice how this tire, the sidewall is touching both front and rear. So, you have like zero toe in. So you're, this one's 100% straight. Go to this side. I can put my whole hand between that and the back. So this tire is actually towed out. So it's trying, it's fighting against the other side, which causes your power steering on these side by sides. The electric power steering pump is like, you give it any little fight and it just goes out. It doesn't like it. So we'll adjust your tie rod, get that towed in just a little bit. Ideally you want it like an eighth inch toe in. And that'll basically, instead of pulling bearings apart, it pushes them in and like on the road, it doesn't follow lines. So we'll just do that real fast and you'll be good to go. All right. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so all we're doing yeah. here, he upgraded his tie rod in and uh, front control arms and everything. So these tie rods, they rotate individually. So you can change this tie rod and then that tie rod. So you can adjust each tire independently from each other so uh if you look down here you've got this jam nut the reverse thread and another one down here and then to rotate you just loosen those off and then this tie rod spins by hand you can stick the wrench on it, it makes it a little easier so all we're doing is you can see the the alignment now is a lot closer than it was so we're going to go until this is just a hair and we're all about right there so you can see this is completely straight and then you start seeing a little bit of gap here and then tight so we're going to run with that and we're going to see what that does maybe that will be the fix to this well my wife actually hit a tree our last visit out here so oh, that's a good I had excuse to, yeah it had to be upgraded or i guess we could have bought stock parts but why waste your money yeah, yeah so the, the rear is still stock, but you know, if that breaks, we'll upgrade it too, I guess. You go wheeling much? What is that? You go wheeling much? Uh, trying to start. Okay. Last year was our first year. Okay, cool. Went a couple times and. So you have a little bit of experience, but not a lot. Just very little, yeah. Okay. Met Chance and. So you're still excited about it? Oh you're... yeah, no, okay. super excited. Sweet, so today should be a lot of fun. Oh yeah. So what are you working on? Oh, just greasing my stuff. I didn't do the uh, prep I should have for the trip. So ball joints, uh, tie rod ends, drag link, all the grease fittings, just put some grease on it. Just to be safe. We're here, why not? And uh, they're using the, my handy dandy home built compressor setup to do some air, air work on their golf cart over here. Um, as you guys know, we have cameras out. Um, we Yesterday was so freaking windy, we weren't able to get a lot of the footage we need to get while we're here. So we're doing a, an event in May called Dirt Fest, and we're trying to get a lot of promo footage of the park and what it offers and that sort of thing. So we're going to hit some scenic parks this morning, which is down in the waterfalls and whatnot, before everybody gets here and all the water turns murky and muddy. So that way we get some cinematic shots if we stop we'll just radio and say hey we're gonna stop here let him get out and do his thing and we'll take it a little slow you know like we're out here representing recoil so if you guys make sure that like what we're doing is conducting ourselves in appearance with just having fun doing our thing but don't don't be stupid kind of thing thank you
All right, so we just went and made sure we had all the food for the trail today. Um, this morning we went and got Joe side by side aligned. He threw a belt also, got that back on. Um, we're focusing on trying to get all the content we need for our promo video for Dirt Fest and everything. Um, so that's been super stressful. I'm juggling like four cameras trying to get photos and video content and trying to use the right camera for the right thing. Ooh, I'm the video guy. Oh, dude, it's... <laughs> it's I, I, I do not so envy stressful. your job at all. No, man. you just have to drive and not break your Jeep, which I guess is equally stress stressful. We're trying to keep it smooth for you for the, so we don't break any of your stuff and I mean, you get good camera angles. You can only do what you can do, you know, if something breaks, it's on me for not putting I, it where it's you supposed Just to not be. be stupid is the big thing. Yeah, <laughs> not trying to be too crazy. Um, so we are now trying to meet up with the guys, everybody else. I think they're waiting on a trailhead. Hey, uh, this is Seth. We are headed up the power line road right now. So they're waiting for us at a trailhead? Uh, over by the lookout. The, okay. Um, the... Oh, we're hitting the lookout first? Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna shoot um, some video over at the lookout. I have my gimbal set up and everything with my A7S III on it. So, can to do some cool cinematic stuff, probably fly the drone out there too. Um, fuck, so what is that, five cameras? We've got the A9, A7S III, A1, drone, GoPro. GoPro. Fuck, so I've got five cameras to manage. <laughs> like 40 batteries, like. Is that including the one wrapped up in a jacket? Yeah, yeah, that's the A1. That's the gimbal, right? Or the gimbal's wrapped up yeah. and the A1's next to it. Just trying to keep track of everything is a nightmare. I hate this. Yeah, don't think you only have four cameras and leave one somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> no, I've got five. Um, you guys will probably beat us to have a balcony, so it might be a good opportunity to get some fresh mud rolling up there slowly to have a balcony. Okay. Roger that. Over. I might try to do that. Maybe I can get the drone out and track him on the way up. I don't know. That's just a lot to do at once. I wish. Uh, I wish. The GoPro had telemetry for uh, angle and or at least elevation change. So we'd show elevation like, and angle would yeah. be awesome. So we could see how much we're climbing. Uh, you guys go left or right at the board. Left. Okay, so yeah, got all this going on. So hopefully I can get some good footage today, and we don't rush through everything and we can get some nice stuff. Um, this is just, man, it's hard to do this. We are not you know? gonna rush through everything because we are in control. It kind of feels that way, but it kind of doesn't. <laughs> when you're in a group, it oh, oh, God dang. Rocks. Um, oh, shout out to GoPro for the Hyper Smooth 4 coming in clutch. <laughs> Sponsored. Yeah, right? Please, oh God. <laughs> right retire, Rock. Yep. Uh, yeah, so I guess when we get, oh, is this it? No, it's way up here. Oh, well. It's like over there. Oh, man. Thank you, Falcon Shocks, All for right. smoothing out the ride a yeah. little bit. Seriously. I mean, compared to some stuff out there, this isn't that bad. It's pretty good. It's better than going over speed bumps at the softball fields. <laughs> Jeez. So we're going to get up there, and I'm going to shoot some stuff, and hopefully it turns out good.
Yeah, man, for sure. If not, we'll definitely see it at your rock face. Heck yeah. looking down yeah I'll have to if you need help just let me I'll know. get video of you hiking it so that way people can actually see well, yeah like you can see me standing up yeah I think seeing the big strides from like a bottom up perspective you just want to see my bottom oh yeah and looking down that Thank you, Maggie. Keep working. Mama told me that uh, you needed some uh, appreciation and motivation, so keep doing what you're doing. Good job. Good job.
modulate your movement? Not the part on the ring. Right, right. You don't want to screenshot it, <laughs> but you want to have it slip a little bit. Just don't let the belt burn up. That's the main key. Yeah, Keep I, the tires moving. Nice. It's a little different than mine because I'm an automatic, but so if I do too much, I'm going to burn up and get my train emission hot. But it just helps control that little bit of, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. especially when you're going through, like coming down that hill, those big sticky up rocks, it'll help control that. You know, you can feel right as you're about to crest over, you can give it more brake. Like even if you're off the gas, just give it more brake and then slowly let off of it and let it drop off gently. I get what you're saying. Like I know. if I've already gassed up something, I'm gonna get a little brake, okay. kind of let it tit down. Give it, okay. This well, I'll work on it. I'm not saying it's all going to theoretically go no, like it, that. It's, it's a, a no, you'll, you'll get the feel. Yeah. yeah. Learning curve. Yeah. hundred percent. Have you walked what you've been going up? Oh. <laughs> what? That's a pretty good one. This one? Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, no. some, we were happy about the one where he was guiding yeah. earlier, yeah. though, just right yeah. before that. Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. made that up that. Yeah. How did it look from the outside? I, like it. I mean, I this is a little bit more than last time. time. I'll, I'll ride up the rest of it. Went up last time. I'm not sure. Is brand new to this as far as like a, an off-road rig minus the side-by-side -side, he's never been in a Jeep and uh, he'd actually talk about buying that Jeep eventually um, but I asked if he wanted to drive he goes hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> so he's never driven a manual vehicle off-road so he was very new to this but he did freaking phenomenal so all these guys did that was wild to see that's a pretty good little climb there. Yeah, it is. Uh-oh, we good? We're stopping up here. Good for him, bolt sheared off. Oh. Like straight sheared. I can't tell if it's been broke for a little while. It almost looks like it. That sucks. So what had happened was, we're coming through here about full tilt, and all of a sudden we lost steering. It started fighting me, so I killed it. The uh, 
track bar bolt sheared. So I don't know what we're going to do to repair that. We'll figure something out. <laughs> Mine's kind of tight. Oh my. Uh, uh. So uh, skinny boy, guys. Jacob thinks he has a bolt back at camp, so we're going to go check it. If not, we're going to run to Napa and see if uh, we can get one at Napa before the close. Um, Sorry, you're so buff, bro. Yeah, for real. Oh. Oh. Okay. Stop. Is it really? Back a little bit. Back a little bit. Oh, Back a little bit. It's fine. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it right there. Wait, hold on. You're breaking the vehicle. <laughs> All right, Seth, real quick, what are you doing? I'm going to see if I can get this to hold so we can at least move it down the, the access road a little bit. And how are you doing that? More people. I'm using white zip ties. Oh, the white ones? Premium aftermarket parts for the TJ. Yep, only the best. Oh, yeah, this plug, but it's held right. It's holding right now. You would it makes you yeah. wonder, like, when you carry the boats, you know. Like, you really? I don't carry no fucking boats. Hold up. You don't fucking carry a log. So, Chance just left a little bit ago. Um, trying to get that bolt for the steering on the TJ. Or, not the, yeah, the TJ. I've been driving the JK while Seth drives the TJ, so I've been driving that. We have Jake's side by side. Joe's driving that. Chance took off in Joe's side by side. We ran into the guys from before. So now we're just having a couple beers waiting for uh, Chance and Jake to get back, hopefully with the correct bolt. We can drop that in the TJ and then get back out of here. So My zip ties didn't hold long enough. No. Nope. We tried. But zip hey, it technology. made it. What's that? 100 feet? 200 feet? Yeah. Well, There's zip a couple ties of... broke about five feet in, <laughs> but I milked it to here. <laughs> So yeah, zip tie technology did not hold up as we were hoping, but uh, they should be back soon, hopefully with the right hardware so we can get the TJ back out and head to Rockface. And then I can finish up shooting for the day. Um, been running the drone, been running the Sony on the gimbal, the S3, been running the A1 handheld, um, trying to get everybody navigating the technical stuff. And uh, man, it has been a wild day. I'm exhausted, my feet are killing me, rocking the steel toes today. Steel toe standard issue. I am worn smooth out. My feet are killing me. Um, but this has been crazy. If you have not been out to uh, crossbar or out wheeling, I strongly recommend it. Especially if you're into photo or video, there's a lot of really cool content to be had. Hopefully I can showcase that. Um, it's been a ton of fun and hoping the, that they get back soon with the parts and the fun continues and on the rock face. Oh, your fucking bolt come off. Oh, no. Find it. Sweet. The nut. There we go. We'll hang on this in hell. No, I think it's got it now. Oh, sweet. No way. <laughs> Ready to wheel. We got it. It's in there. Are you serious? Yeah, boy. So Seth figured out how to fix the TJ. We got a bolt in the uh, steering stuff. I'm in Seth's Jeep. About to drive this thing down the trail. Hopefully get it back to base camp. See what happens. You riding with me? Hello, my name's Kevin. <laughs> Rolling with me? Yeah, hell yeah. All right, hopefully I don't do anything too bad. Oh, hey buddy. All right, so how do we do this? That goes over the shoulder. Yep, yep. This goes over the shoulder. And this just snaps. Clips in up to Hold on, so. Heavy, what the hell is this? How does this work? So, basically, you just oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a brighter light? I don't. 
Go up right. In the spirit of not disappointing other stuff, uh, how does this need to be? This right, is supposed so to be like a lap out, right? Yeah, so pull this up and then stretch your, there you go. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then how do I touch the sides here? Right here. Right here, Pull this with that. Just pull that back. Yeah. Oh, cramp in my, oh God, titty cramp. You're good, you're good. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's nice to cramp out. It actually helped a little bit. No good. homo. Yeehaw. Y'all be safe. Woo. All right, see ya. All right. Uh, one. Can you do one thing for me? What? Don't roll this. Oh, we're not rolling. That's all I ask. Oh, no way are we going up this. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts. Ugh. That was the easy line. Dang. I mean, I get why you say that because it handled it so gracefully. Yes. It just walked up it. God, these are rough though. When you're going fast, they're not. Oh. The faster you go, the smoother it is. Really? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Faster and smoother. No. That was a lot smoother. It's just different shitty. Yes. It's yes. not smoother, it's just it sucks in a different way. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not built for the, do like the slow stuff in the JK is money. Yep, this yep. this is like this South beats me up too much. Yes. South I can't. Have their place. I, yeah, this I can't do this. If I had to do this for like more than 20 minutes, I'd be not happy. Yeah. It's like getting in a car accident, but it doesn't stop. It's good, right? <laughs> oh my god. Where'd you guys go? Oh, I saw you trying to make it up here. Something bad happens, I'll never forgive you.
Well, uh, it's been awesome. Maggie over here has done a bunch of cool stuff until she didn't. Uh, something has happened with the front output on the transfer center and I no longer have front drive. Either lost a chain or a gear broke. You know, I'm not exactly sure, but um, I have a uh, too low right now or too high. That's it. So see if maybe we can track down a transfer case and maybe do a swap or she'll be on highway duty until we do find one. So wish us luck. Heading back to the cabin right now. Uh, accidentally skipped lunch because we've been busy. <laughs> but we're going to get some burgers going, try and source some parts. Hopefully we can swap it tonight if we can find one. And uh, maybe we'll get lucky and do some night wheeling. But worst case, uh, if we are able to source one and able to swap it, then we'll just get be back out tomorrow. And, Sorry, it's uh, rough. There we go. <laughs> and hopefully back out in the morning. Worst case, um, hitting the trails again and seeing some more of crossbar. <laughs> Some burger oil tomorrow. Cinematic. Got like two or three